Welcome to Mac CCU Academy, today we are talking about Mtune, the PC software for Mac CCU Engine Management System. To be able to communicate with the Mac CCU, you need to download the Mtune PC software from our website, www.maccccu.com. Navigate to Mtune section, scroll down and click to save the installation file on your computer. Start the installation and follow the on-screen instructions. Insert the USB cable into the computer. Start the Intune software by double clicking on the desktop shortcut. When Intune is loaded, USB cable attached and Mac CCU is powered, we have a connection. On the left side in the Intune, our settings tree is visible. First, change the help language by clicking to configuration, Intune settings and then language. More languages will be available depending on demand. Before most functions in the Mtune, there is a blue question mark which has a tooltip shown when hovering with mouse over it to get fast help. On most pages there is also a big help button in the top right corner when the current setting page has some extended help, click to access or press F1 button anywhere in the Mtune. Connect and disconnect. Open tune. Save tune. Connection status. There are two tabs on the lower side of the software, real-time data and the live logger. To be able to see all real-time data, use the real-time data tab. To adjust the height of the tabs, please point your mouse on the little gray box, and move it upwards or downwards. There is also a way to automatically adjust the width with a simple mouse click. In the bottom of the Mtune, there is a bunch of engine data values available. These can of course be changed or even moved to suit the need for the current vehicle. The idea is to have the most critical values nearby while tuning, for example tuning a variable camshaft application, you can easily add all necessary data to perform the tuning in a fast and effective way. Just right click and select, or drag to move. Now, let's talk about the live logger. To make it easier, you can add or remove different plot areas by a single right click, select, add, plot area to make another one, or simply select remove plot area. To change engine data values in the live logger, right click. Select channels and select data to show in the plot area. Remember, when the live logger is paused, you can always go back and watch all available data, not just the data shown during logging. New selected data will be shown instantly. While engine is running, adjusting is possible without restarting the Mac CCU. To insert or remove any access value, simply right click or double click on the value to change. Perfect for adding higher resolution to specific areas. To change the axis, please move pointer to the axis, right click and select change axis source from the menu. Select the new source sensor and confirm. The automatic scale dialog box appears, change and confirm. All tables can be altered by loading data from an already saved tune file. Right click on the table and select load from file. Browse and select the file to load. Of course this can be done with engine running. During tuning, it is preferable have the live logger tab open for easy access to engine data. The blue marker which is available in all tables, represents current engine position and updates 15 to 20 times each second, depending on computer performance. In this example, 
We give this Ford 5.0 Coyote engine a little boost, watch how the live logger data smoothly updates during boosting. After a simple run on the dyno like this, stop the live logger. Now a red marker will be visible which represents data from the live logger, use the mouse or keyboard to navigate and check all parameters. For example, when tuning the VE-based fuel, it is handy to have the lambda target and lambda values to be compared on the same plot area. A few tables in Mac CCU has the 3D surface option visible for better viewing, all the live logger features are also here fully functional. By holding control key or clicking the force follow checkbox the current cursor will follow engine data position, which can be used for real-time tuning on current position. Navigate with arrow keys, adjust selections by pressing plus or minus on keyboard. Multiple selections can also be made with mouse pointer, and whole selections can be moved with arrow keys. Horizontal or vertical interpolation can also be made by adding a selection and pressing H or V keys. Our auto tune function can be triggered by holding Ctrl key while pressing the T key. You can also click the force follow checkbox to eliminate the control key down maneuver. The current lambda value is compared with the target lambda value. Max ECU then calculates the amount of change to achieve the lambda target and instantly save the data. Remember, everything is written directly to the Max ECU, no need to burn or restart the Max ECU to make the changes permanently. There is also other auto tune options which can be used after a dyno run. Make the selection in the live logger by holding shift key and pressing mouse on start and stop areas. Right click and choose selection, then auto tune VE. Selected area will now be auto tuned and the table will have some color change to reflect the certainty. The most certain adjustment is the bluest ones. After auto-tune, some areas can be prickly, use one of the interpolation features to have smoother curves. In the following examples, we give a brief example of the flexibility of Max ECU and M-Tune. In this example we will start the internal logging only when engine is above 3000 engine revolutions and turbo pressure is reached, and then log for 120 seconds regardless of engine condition. First. Select channels to log and confirm. Change the parameter named logging start from always on to by switch input which will change the behavior of the log function. Head over to the settings page called advanced, navigate to internal outputs. Give this internal function a good name and change the parameters like we do here in this video. The basic idea of this function is that you can use whatever data is available in the system as a condition to start another function. You can add more than one condition to make an advanced big condition. In this example the start logging input function is activated when the conditions are met, and the turn off delay setting continues logging even if the conditions are not met. We are even going to give a second example on the internal output function. Click on internal function 2 and give the second function a good name. This function will stop the engine, or even prevent the engine from starting if the selected button on the Android app is activated. Change the conditions to meet your requirements in the settings page. Select the stop engine. Prevent start from the input function drop down box. Hopefully, you get the idea of how the internal output function in Max ECU works and can be used to control even other functions. Max ECU has a very long list of flexible functionality, which we will explain in future video academies. 